<laughs> She's excited. How long are we? Baja. Baja. Bye. How is it? What is your name? Maria Cara and Larissa. Larissa. You don't speak Portuguese, right? My name is Maria. Oh, you speak English. How are you doing? I am a YouTuber and I was showing the people Bahia El Salvador. So that's why I was recording. So Primera vez. Primera vez en Salvador. Primera vez. Pero el río, dos veces. Primera vez. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Nayara. Nayara. Uh, Checo. Uh, ¿Puedes decirle? ¿Puedo decir? Oh, me gusté. Me gusté. ¿Puedes decir la, la, la gente de aquí? Sinji. Sinji. Come Sinji. Sinji. Look, look, Sinji. Look, 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 look. I don't want to be gravada. I'm scared. I don't want to be gravada. No? Why? And dance samba. Oh. You like it? Hala, check on that. Oh! No, no, no! <laughs> oh, no, no! <laughs> What's up, man? It's Check It Effect, and I am in this spot right here, man. I'm gonna show you this area. I almost got hit by a car, but it's all good. But I'm going to show you this area in Baja. Eh, Baja. This is Faro uh, Beach. It's called Praia de Faro. And it's in Baja, so this is a dope, super dope spot. You're going to love it. You know what I mean? Todos los días, la misma cosa in this, canal, in this channel. You already know what time it is, man. What's up, guys? This is Checking Effect. And today, I am in Faro and this is Praia Faro. That's the beach right there. Um, this is the, it's not really that late at night. It's probably like seven o'clock. Uh, a lot of people come out here at night. They actually come up to this spot right here to watch the sun go down. That's that, that uh, museum right there. So right here is a good spot to come out. And um, they have music, they have food, they have vendors. As usual, I'm gonna show you guys this spot. You guys can see what it is. We are in Salvador Bahia. So we gonna, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour. We're going to work our way down. Oh, look at these beautiful ladies with the headbands. We're going to work our way down to the cafeteria. <clears throat> then from there, we're going to go up here, check out the, the museum. I'm not going to go in the museum, just going to go up. Just a quick little tour of the area, man. Um, I actually, uh, this is a dope spot to come at around... I would say like 4.30, like 4.30 to like, between 4.30 and 8 o'clock, this is nice. People just come out here and eat, drink, have a good time. All right, so this is a restaurant. I'm not gonna walk up in there, but I'm gonna just show you guys where it's at. You see the name right there. It's a cafeteria, restaurant. Got vendors everywhere. All right, so we're gonna walk up these stairs and see what's popping in this side. I just had, I actually had a few beers and I actually had a few beers. It was I was here and it was so hot. It was like it was probably like around four o'clock. It was so hot. So I decided to just have some beers and eat some food and wait till it get a little darker and record. And right now it's a whole lot cooler. It was just too hot to record. Like the weather is beautiful right now.
okay. Check this out, man. So as you can see, everybody come up to this museum. Ladies come out here and chill. These are beautiful ladies. Post up. It's crazy, but there's not a lot of YouTubers that come out to this area. That's what I find so weird. Hola. Oh, Modelo. Look at that. She getting it in. Look at that. Super raw content. So that's the beach, and it goes around in a circle, and that's also the beach right there. Yo, I'm so happy that I uh, got my mic, because it's so windy right now. If I did not have this microphone, you would hear this wind just blowing like crazy. So we're gonna work our way. We're gonna work our way down that way. Then I'm gonna show you the main drag, which all the people are, and that's over there. Oh, no! <laughs> She's excited. Hey, Chris, can I photo? Photo? So uh, this is another little side right here where they have uh, a lot of uh, vendors, a lot of people come out here. So you can see, man, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, I'm not gonna walk too far down. I'm gonna just take you guys around this side right here, and then we're gonna go towards the main, the main strip where all the people are. Da sefalaki. Oh, look at that! Love birds over there. Look at the love birds. Oh man. Muito bom. Ainda. Ai, você virou romântica, acabou. Porra, até igual a lua. So you see what it is over here in uh Bahia Salvador. I'm glad I could show you guys a little bit how it looks over here. So if anybody's interested in coming to this side of town, they can see this area right here is a fire dope area, a lot of people here. I came here earlier. It was hot and like, it seems like mostly all the people come around 4.30, 5 o'clock. So if you're gonna come to this area, come around 4.30, 5 o'clock. All right, so now we about to walk the main drag, the main strip where all the people are and all the people are walking. So you're gonna see a lot of people over here. So let's go, let's do it, let's go. Boy, noche. Oh, 
we got a nice little whip right there. Yep, Valio. We got the police on deck. Any, any problems, police out here on deck? This is what I wanted to show you, these ladies with these outfits. That's fire. All right, moving along. So this right here is the main drag. It's so much wind blowing. It's crazy, but it feels good. It feels real good. So this is the main strip where people walk. There's lots of restaurants, lots of vendors, lots of people. Gente, so filma un poco. Yeah, look, look. ¿A dónde estamos? Baja. 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 Y, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, ¿Cuál es su nombre? María Cara y. Larissa. Larissa. Ah, esta es la gente de Estados Unidos. Bye bye. Deja el pere para que se le den su palabra. So, see, I hey. subscribe. <laughs> Bye. 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 So, they just subscribe to the channel. See a lot of restaurants. All the restaurants. Hey, yo, 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 Valio. Look at this ladies, look at this girl's hair. It's like, oh, and that's all real. That's nothing, there's not, that's not fake. That's all real. She has like a lot of hair. Look at the vendors. Even the vendors are beautiful. Wow. 
wild, man. This place is, this place is amazing. See the restaurants. <sighs> so I'm not going to record too much of this tonight. This is a mellow night. I know check and fact. I know normally when I record, I'm like doing a lot of scenery and doing a lot going on. But uh boy no che. Uh, hey, uh yo eu não falo português bem. My name is Nayara. Oh, you speak English. How you doing? I am a YouTuber and I was showing the people Bahia Salvador. So that's why I was recording. So a primera vez. Primera vez, primera vez en Salvador. Primera Bem vez. Pero el río, dos veces. Primera vez. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Nayara. Nayara. Uh, Checo. Uh, ¿Puede decirle? ¿Puedo decir? Oh, me gusté. Me gusté. ¿Puede decir la, la, la gente de My name aquí? Cindy. Cindy, come Cindy. Venga Cindy. Cindy. Look, look, Cindy. Look, 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 look. Yo no voy a ser grabada. Estoy con vergüenza. No voy a ser grabada. No? ¿Por qué? Cindy, grabar y después cerveza. Cerveza. Ah, ¿Ah? No soy o, 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 o un bar en Pelorino. ¿Se mora? ¿Ok? Pelorino. Pelorino. Se mora, no. Se sí. mora en Pelorino. Sí. Un bar y danza samba. Oh. ¿Es oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, come here, come here. Okay, um, to call us to uh, uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, what's up? Yaki, oh. <laughs> oh man. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna do too much of the tour today. This is just a quick little tour of Bahia Salvador, of the area we're at in Bahia Salvador. Um, just wanted to show you guys. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of something. I'm honestly, I'm be real with you. I'm not even in the. I've been chill. I came out here earlier. I've been drinking, uh, and it was hot. So I'm kind of like in the mood to really like go back home to go home. But I just wanted to show you guys this area, man, so you guys can see if you're ever in. Uh, Bahia Salvador, because a lot of people go to Rio. They don't come out here. They're always in Rio. But this spot is like a hidden gem because the people here are cool as hell, number one. And it's just a dope spot in general. It's not Rio. It's not like party every day. But in the weekends, they do get down and they do get down in the parties. So just this quick little, quick little vichy, vichy to yo. So far from my experience, the women here, from my experience, um, if you notice this area, like a lot of people here are in shape, they, they take care of themselves, they work out. For every uh, 10 women, 10 people you see, I would say for every, for every 10, seven of them look good or maybe six look good and four does you know look normal or whatever but 
you just see like you see them all the time just coming down the street just like lights beautiful people and the people here are friendly like you have to break the ice obviously but even if, if you don't have to i would say if you know a little bit of portuguese that's good enough like if you can at least say hello how you doing my name is what it, my name is such and such what's your name um what do you like to do what do you like to eat do you want to go do you want to have uh some beer stuff like that if you can hola como esta bang todo bang okay <laughs> so uh, um if you can say things like that then you would actually uh you would actually be okay with uh people here in brazil it's it's at in the beginning when i first came here i thought it was the language barrier was a big thing i mean i know a little bit of portuguese obviously but i'm not great at it but i thought the i thought the language was a big problem because like yo if you i can't if you can't have a full conversation but a lot of them they know a little bit of english and they'll try to speak a little bit of english with you so it's really not that bad it's really not that bad because um most of the people here they know they know a little bit of english so it's not like it's not like super bad super horrible but as you can see man i'm having a good time since i in brazil in, in general i love it here the people are nice the f now i rate the food awesome the food is super good now you can't like no matter what happens if you're gonna love the food because the brazilians they know how to cook and the food has seasoning in which um i'm black so we already know we like food we like food with season so i'm just trying to show you guys last a little bit um this might be a good hotel to stay at if you're ever in the area hotel monto pascal that might be a good hotel so we're gonna walk back around over here and we're going to turn over here and now we're going to i'm gonna walk down there and then when i walk down there i'm gonna uh end the video from there Yo, I'm gonna tell you the funniest story that just, this is not even a funny story. I turned the camera off and I've been looking for my phone for like the past three minutes and I forgot I was using my phone as a display. Man, I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, I'm not a boy. All right? Yeah, 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 you say man, say hello men. Hello man. Yeah, no boy. Boy. Nino, Minino. boy, yeah, Minino. Oh man, oh man, exactamente. I'm oh, getting mad when I'm around the world. Good night, welcome to Baja Beach. Welcome Baja Beach. You already know. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, man. All right. So yeah. Oh, so I was looking for the phone for like, I don't know, man, like at least three minutes, and I forgot I'm using the phone to record so it's crazy <laughs> that's it i said i thought somebody got me i was like damn fine well, i was like damn somebody got me man somebody got me well we still got some more things over here but i'm not gonna go that far i'm just gonna go home because i've been out here since uh i've been out here for like at least a good three three four hours and i'm just kind of ready to to make it home This is uh, Pellerino. Um, I'm actually staying around this area, and actually, Sinji hit me up and she told me to meet her like around 9, 10, 15, so I could decide, you know, come out here a little bit early so I could show I could show you guys a little bit of footage, um, show you how the nightlife is in this area, how the people in Pellerino, Salvador, hang out. So I got a little bit of time to kill before she gets here.
Aqui, aqui. Não, saudade. Sinceridade. E você tá Here, there's a lot of hills, mountains. There's a lot of hills, so it's like every time you go up a hill, there's another little bar or, or a spot where you can have drinks. So people just like it. Seems like the people here, they just like they just bar hop. They just go from one bar to another, and it's crazy because it's like <laughs> we're just like literally bar hopping, going one spot to another. But the nightlife is crazy here. Um, weekends are nice. Now over here has a lot of of mix mixed crowd and also the, the brazilians here are more like black afro brazilian or mix a few white brazilians also so this is like the biggest i would say afro brazilian black brazilian um, city out of all out of all uh brazil so definitely a cool spot man a lot going on now there's some stuff you're gonna see
Um, this part of the video, I know you're looking at it like, oh man, this dude, like, it's, all right, I'm not trying to portray this area as a dangerous area because I don't feel like it's dangerous. So what you see right here is not something like, oh, I'm not coming to Brazil, look what's going on. Nah, man, this dude asked for it. This dude is drunk. He's with his girl. I caught the whole thing. I saw the whole thing before I even got, got it on camera. He's drunk. He's with his chick. He started with someone, started some beef with someone. The dude kind of like let him know, yo, bro, like, trying to tell him to chill, relax, relax. He walked through. His girl took him and walked away. He got away from his girl, came back, and was talking crap with the guy. And the guy just, it was two guys, and they just, one of them just ca caught him, punched him, and the other one bust his head against the wall. So that's why you see him passed out like that. He's really, he got knocked out. I feel sorry for him, but he's the one that started it. You know, so this is not like a, if you guys come out here, some random person is just gonna fight you. 